Hello Virgo, happy Friday to you, happy weekend to you. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Virgo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, the universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo, for Virgo's highest good, please. The universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in their life and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Virgo in their life and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey. Wow. You are concentrating on your finances. You want to make very wise financial decisions. That includes spending, buying things of value, investing. Somebody is going to be influential, uh, when it comes to advising you or guiding you in the right direction uh, that has to do with money. And it, Leo is showing up here. So somebody who is a sign of Leo <clears throat> is going to be very influential. This is you trying to make sense of what's going on around you. Yeah, trying to be patient. Yeah, you are very powerful, Virgo. Yeah. You're showing up here as powerful, very intuitive, because here's a black cat uh, in front of you. That black cat is very symbolic. It represents your intuition, yeah, heightened level of spiritual awareness. You are very intuitive. This is you trying to balance your energy. This is you meditating, spending time in nature, connecting with higher power. Beautiful. Yeah, wow, beautiful. So these financial decisions that you're going to be making will bring you profit, financial abundance, financial windfall. You see this? So somebody is going to advise you or point you in the right direction, a sign of Leo popping up here that's going to be very influential. Interesting. Universe, please show us. Or maybe we'll even bring you good luck. Yeah, so pay attention to Leos around you. We Virgos are very connected with Leos and Libras. <clears throat> yeah, the sign in front of us and the sign after us. Universe, please show us. Um, what's coming up for Virgo? How is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, look how powerful you are. Here's that Ace of Wands you're holding on to. You see this? Good luck is showing up here. Good karma being rewarded with blessings. So you have accrued good karma through good deeds for other people. And here you are reaping those rewards, blessings for the good karma, right? The uh, rewards are coming. Who's this emperor over here? <clears throat> Yeah, this is you kind of slipping away sometimes when you uh, think too much about the past, when you overanalyze, when you worry too much. <clears throat> it's like you don't see your own power within you. This is you worrying too much about the past, dwelling too much, overanalyzing too much. Yeah, this is you needing to kind of move forward and not dwell so much about the past and what uh, happened that you didn't find pleasant this is you needing to move on with your life yeah not dwell on the past virgo close that chapter put a lid on it forgive it release it yeah look how strong you are this is some kind of victory showing up here so for those of you who are dealing with some kind of uh legal matter where somebody owes you money you're gonna win yeah you're gonna win even though it's gonna be a battle for some of you you're gonna win you see, for those of you that are or will be in the near future going through some kind of legal battle where you are fighting uh, for something that somebody owes you financially, okay, whether it's insurance claim, whatever, you're going to win. This is victory. Just don't give up. 
you know, remember those things take time. Yeah, I had a legal battle against someone years ago. It took me two years, but I won. And I knew I was going to win because I was in the right. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. You see this? You're showing up twice as queen of pentacles. You see? Somebody is going to help you win uh, whatever it is. Whatever the situation is where you feel like you have to fight for yourself, somebody's going to be on your side, someone who's powerful, knowledgeable, with connections. But you don't really need their connections. You are in the right. Yeah. Yeah, you dwell too much, Virgo. You dwell too much on the past. You think too much. You overanalyze too much. We all do it. So don't feel bad about it. Just be aware of it. <clears throat> Spend more time in nature. Yeah. Meditate more. Yeah, you see financial success coming to you. <clears throat> yeah, pentacles, 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 pentacles. You're going to succeed at what you need to do financially. You just need to be aware of your surroundings. Uh, take your time. Look how powerful you are. Beautiful. And this is financial success coming to you. You know, please show us what's coming up for my awesome Virgos. And how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? <clears throat> You're not communicating with your soulmate. Yeah. You're going to be celebrating something. Yeah. It has to do with finances, money. Oh, yeah. Financial independence, stability. Beautiful. You view yourself as single, not in a relationship with anyone at this time. <clears throat> Some kind of group of people that you feel you have to deal with on a regular basis, but really don't want to. You feel you always have to be uh, on guard with them when you deal with them, whether it's group of people at your job, neighborhood, family members, whatever. And the first group of people that comes to your mind that you have to deal with, uh, but really don't want to. Uh, you showing up as very guarded towards them. Like you feel you're always being judged, ridiculed, or down you feel like you always have to defend yourself wow let me see what's going on with that soulmate of yours that you're not communicating with universe please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of virgo that virgo has been dealing with and how is that soulmate of virgo towards virgo at this time especially emotionally what's going on currently with that soulmate of virgo Wow. So this is them trying to figure out how to approach you, making a decision. Yeah, this is them trying to be strong. They feel sad that, um, but they try not to be emotionally attached to this situation, but they are. Yeah, you guys had some serious disagreements. They've been waiting to hear from you, but they realize you're not chasing this situation. Yeah, they want to take action to communicate with you. <clears throat> universe some of you are letting go of another virgo gemini popping up here a leo sagittarius aries universe please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of virgo that virgo has been dealing with yeah they have a lot of pride yeah this is them very emotionally attached to this situation wanting to clear things up with you <clears throat> oh my goodness yeah I felt this was going to show up, but I didn't know where. So here it is, Three of Swords. This person is devastated over losing you, thinks of you, is heartbroken over losing you. Yeah, this is Three of Swords, heartbreak. Yeah, you see, they're not able to stop thinking about you, move on, you see. This is them feeling like they need to check up on you, and they are checking up on you. Yeah, this person is checking up on you to see what's going on. So this relationship had a lot of emotional roller coasters. You had uh, together very good times and you had together very bad times. It's like there was no middle zone. It was either really bad or really good. Let's see. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently? You see, this just flipped over by itself. They realize why they lost you. Knight of Wands, someone who doesn't commit. 
yeah doesn't express emotions yeah they know why they lost you so that's a good sign that they are aware they have a lot of pride they are attractive they are alluring they are charismatic they command attention a lot of people admire them look up to them yeah <clears throat> they can be very guarded emotionally in relationships it's hard for them to show that they have feelings in a relationship look how much they love you which makes sense that's why they feel so heartbroken over losing this relationship ten of cups with three of swords it's like good emotions and negative emotions and they like trying to process everything this is them going through a lot of internal struggles uh, trying to accept the fact that they lost you yeah you see they showing up as magician twice so they know they're going to take action to approach you, whether directly communicate with you through another person or bump into you somewhere. <clears throat> you know, we show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo. Yeah, you see, they view you as attractive, available. So they know what's going on in your life, moving on with your life, not chasing them. You're not chasing them. They kind of worry because they view us very guarded emotionally towards them. You told them what time it is. You uh, told them goodbye. They're so worried you're going to reject them, judge them, stop them if they try to communicate with you. Yeah, they're checking up on you, Virgo. They are very curious what's going on. Yeah, look how much respect they have for you. So again, you're showing up as Queen of Wands, this time from smaller tarot deck. This person... Uh, views you as someone who is um, very independent, strong-willed. Uh, they respect you. And they respect the fact that you're not needy or clingy, that you're not chasing them. You're not desperate for their attention. Virgo, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what are they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can't communicate for whatever reason. But the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so we'll go click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys